Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I think it's Sunday. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but I wanted to film this video to kind of give you an update on my pocket rings planner. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been jumping around planner sizes and have been very indecisive, especially with the new year. A lot of you know that um, there's been quite a few changes in my life these past couple of years. And so I'm really just trying to hone in my planner system and get something that works for me. I just wanted to share a flip through because I fell down the rabbit hole of watching my old planner videos and thought it would be fun to continue that tradition that I once had of filming at least once a month. So up front, I just have um, basic fillers. This is from Sequence of Paper. Um, cloth and Paper Company. I cut this out on my Cricut and put transparent sticky notes here. This is from Paper Planner Bliss. It's just tips on how to be productive. I got this as a freebie in one of my orders and I've really enjoyed referencing it. And then up front I just have like a couple of reference items. This dashboard here up front, I cut it myself. I etched it, I guess it would be called on my Cricut and I've really enjoyed having it. I've been using it for a couple of months now, that's why it's a little worn, but I don't know if I'm ready to quite change it even though it's getting kind of used and loved. Um, and then this cloth and paper card came in a subscription box, I believe. This is just a insert that I covered with a chalkboard paper from the Dollar Tree. This is a Filofax insert that I stuck a planner spot sticker on and transparent sticky note so that way I could uh, just move the sticky note and leave the page. That way I don't have to worry about cutting down pages. So likewise, I have a lot of different categories in my inbox section, just kind of continues. And I'm trying to do as much as a sticky note option as I can because I really like moving it around and then um, referencing it later on is a little bit tedious. But I do like th that type of a method. Lists really does work for me. The, the, it's like my own get it done method. <laughs> this moon dashboard came from Sessa V. I ordered it from her shop. I got it in pocket, personal, and A5 rings. It is just beautiful, beautifully done. Um, the black is so black and it just, it just looks so good on the frosted vellum and it's a nice durable vellum too. Um, another Filofax insert that I covered with the chalkboard paper from the Dollar Tree and a sticker from a shop I can't even remember. I just remember I was annoyed because half the stickers didn't lift correctly. So just kind of one of those deals, but um, kept track of the notable days. I crossed out ones that are not pertinent to the United States. And here I have like uh, my church calendar. And then this is supposed to be like things that I'm supposed to be paying attention to this month, I guess. <laughs> Haven't used it. I kind of reset this whole system up from last month. So I'm still trying to like dive back in. Um, this is my religious festivals. It kind of is an extension of this insert, but it's like the Filofax standard version. And I went ahead and I put chalkboard laminate or Cricut paper, whatever you want to call it on the other side too. This is just a notes page that was left over from inserts that I tossed and then like once again a transparent sticky note with a transparent sticker. This is another insert that I went ahead and put the black on and these two come from a happy planner sticker book. I'm not sure which one this is from the planner spot. I don't think she has it in her shop anymore and then I have just my monthlies. This is from Ashford. I ordered it from Japan not knowing what the yen conversion was. I ordered a bunch of stuff and when I saw the actual total in US dollars, I almost had a fit. But you know, it's my own fault because I didn't check the conversion, but I had always wanted this. So I just made like a mass order and when I saw the conversion on my statement, I was like, what the heck. Uh, but anyway, so this is um, from Via Beautiful. This is a fold out insert from the Filofax. Last year I had in decorated the opposite side of it. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. I did do like the blackout, but with washi tape. And now that I found this chalkboard sticky paper, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with 
it on there, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, this is my week tab. This is from the cloth and paper. All these dividers I cut myself, they're all a little old. You can tell that they're a little worn. I need, I always cut them maybe two, every two or three months. I get kind of, they get kind of worn because they're like report paper or like report covers. Um, and I just cut them myself and then I cut my own labels. I use my, like a label maker. I used to order tab labels from shops, but I don't do that anymore because I only need four of them max at a time. So this, this weekly insert comes from Mommy Yee Plans. This is from her Facebook group page. You can get it for free or you can get on her Etsy shop and she has different versions, a different paid version. Um, so once again, these stickers come from the Planner Spot on Cloth and Paper Transparent Sticky Notes. These are, these are cloth and paper page flags with stickers from a shop that isn't around anymore, I believe. Um, and then these inserts come from Mommy Plants. Um, the, she's my favorite shop. Honestly, I love the 2.5 millimeter inserts. I have a variety of today inserts. Um, I just do like a running list, sticky notes. I decorate, you know, like I don't really have full days. I just need the space to be able to um, lay everything out, especially when I'm feeling overcrowded. This pocket dashboard comes from Cats Press Co. I highly recommend her dashboard. This is from the Sequence and Planner Co. I keep these stickers from the Planner Spot on these and I actually do stick them on my daily pages, but lately I've been enjoying just looking at them here. Um, that magnet was from Oil Ollie and Co. Ollie Clip? No, it's called Ollie Clip. Um, this insert is one that I purchased years ago. I had it on transparent overhead paper, but I kind of like being able to reference it when I need it. So I've since put it on like regular paper and I probably have had this insert in my planner for like a year. And then I have, you know, this is my list planner. I want to put um, like a cleaning list there. So I think I'm gonna move you know, do like the page flag method and just kind of reassign days since I'm a little, I'm in charge of like all the cleaning and maintenance in the house now. Um, this insert is from Mommy Yee Plans also. It's a fold out sheet. You can find it on her Etsy shop. I use the transparent paper just so I don't have to keep printing inserts, even though I am gonna print reprint this one a couple more times. I do like it. I just printed it. I just haven't gotten around to filling it out. And these Mommy Yee plans are actually daily pages that I covered the date. I think I covered the date or I erased it in, I don't know. I guess I must have erased the date. And then these black headers are from the planner spot, but they're no longer in her shop. I just checked. I'm so glad I have backups, but I do like different sections back here like I do up front for lists and things. This insert, I'm not sure where it came from. I printed it, I just don't know where the design, if I made it or if I found it, I'm not sure, a one line design. And then these are just notes pages of things that, random things. This is from cloth and paper, etc. This back here is a mess, but I really enjoy the back. This is from the planner spot. I think this stick on pocket is from the plan, no, the planner society, I think back, back when, I don't know, 2017, maybe 2018. These are extra headers that I found in my stash from the planner spot. Notes pages from, this is a notes pages from Mommy Yee Plans. Have some financials in here. Not a whole lot because my personal rings now hold all of my budgeting information. I have like shopping lists in here. I'm gonna write down my book list in here. My to-dos, all of these papers have transparent sticky notes on them just because I didn't want to deal with having to change out inserts so much. These insert, these transparent sticky notes come from AliExpress maybe. I found that these are a little bit easier to write on than most of the shops that I have found in the planner community. 
This notes page is from the planner spot. It's a notepad. I punched it to put it into my pocket rings. This, uh, once again, it comes from Cat Press Co. They, um, journaling stickers come from AliExpress. This comes from Paper, it's her shop name. I always say it wrong. Paper Papery. No, Paper Planner Bliss. I feel like that's not right. Yeah, it is Paper Planner Bliss. Bliss. Okay. Um, and then I have like pictures of my family here. And then I have these little Ashford envelopes that I also ordered and didn't realize how much they cost. <laughs> but I went ahead and ordered them anyways. And I have like coupons. And then my year on one page is on the back along with like reference information. And then I have this page lifter from Ashford in the back. This system is barely new and set up. So this is the middle of February. And I don't know if it's actually going to stick. I am trying to debate on how much planning I want to do inside of personal versus pocket and vice versa. So I'm trying to find a good balance there. You can see the Amica does not have the back pocket. I do have a couple of different options coming since the Amica is not a planner that you can find. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.